It's the Spark Ideas by the Nerd Girls. This one is Kathy Brown and how Twitter helped share her voice. Now, next up, we have Kathy Brown telling you about how Twitter helped me share my voice, which I didn't know you were on Twitter. Yeah, you didn't tell me. <laughs> Uh, so I have my, my little cheat sheet here, but um, so I'm Kathy Brown, and I'm a developer in New Hampshire. And in 2007, I was the lone developer at an investment consulting firm. So everybody else did something else at my company. I was the only one who did what I do, and in fact, there were only two IT people at my company of about 100 people. So it was a bit of a lonely existence, and probably like many Domino developers, I learned what I knew about Domino development via digging into applications and the help file. That was it. So my confidence in my skills wasn't exactly high. Um, you know, I didn't have a CS degree or any of those things, right? So I just got my job, I did what I was supposed to do, I learned stuff I needed to know. Okay. Back in 2007, companies were a little more generous about throwing money at training, so my boss was nice enough to say, hey, I kind of heard about this conference called Lotusphere, you should go to that. Okay. <laughs> so January 2008, I came to my first Lotusphere, and speaking of not being afraid of things, I was petrified. I didn't know a soul. I didn't even go to the Sunday night party because I was afraid people would go, oh, look at that loser who doesn't know anyone. Yes, I was afraid of looking like a geek at a geek conference. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So I did nothing social. I just went to sessions. I went to a session in every single session slot. And I didn't do any of the fun stuff, really. Um, I did see a lot of great speakers talking, a lot of whom I'm friends with now, but that's cutting to the end of the story. Um, I saw a lot of great content, a lot of great speakers, learned about things like Planet Lotus and the blogs and all these other resources that I had no idea about being the lone developer in New Hampshire. And I went back home and fast forward a bit, so now I, I'm reading Planet Lotus blogs and all of that. The problem with the Planet Lotus blogs for me was that it was 100% technical, right? People are blogging about technical stuff, people are commenting technical comments. And I didn't have the confidence in myself to join into that conversation. I was too afraid I'd make a comment and somebody would say, well, what the hell are you talking about? You don't know, you're wrong, that's wrong, you're wrong. Okay, so fast forward a few months, I went to another conference. I happened to go to a session which was um, being led by Chris Miller and Paul Mooney and I think Andy Pettisic and I never would have been in there except I happened to meet this woman at lunch and I kind of glommed onto her like and followed her around as my friend and uh, so she went in because she was an admin otherwise I never would have been in that room <laughs> and they happened to mention this thing called Twitter. And they were saying why it was great and why you should get on there and why you should you know, start getting active on it. Paul Moon is a pretty cute guy, so I was like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I followed him, and I then followed all of his followers, who wound up being a lot of people I had seen speaking at that conference and, and at Lotusphere, so great. The big difference for me was that Twitter was sort of like uh, the virtual water cooler or a cocktail party. People weren't just talking technical stuff. Right? They were talking some technical stuff, but they were also talking about their favorite TV show or something that happened to them last week or whatever. And like a cocktail party, you could kind of weave in and out of conversations, join in where you wanted to, ignore what you didn't want to, and it was just little snippets of things. It was also something I felt like I could talk about. No one can tell me, no, you're wrong, that's not your favorite TV show, okay? <laughs> so I had the confidence to jump into the conversation. And, and jump in, I did, as many of you know, now I have like 15 Twitter accounts that I manage. So I'm in, I'm all in. And, uh, but through Twitter, I got to know a lot of these people. So I saw them all speaking. Now here I was at this cocktail party with all of these speakers, and I was talking to them, and I was getting to know them. And as I got to know them, um, you know, my confidence started to grow. Somebody said, hey, why don't you have a blog? I don't know, why don't I have a blog? So I got a blog, and I went to Yancey to see about getting my blog put on Planet Lotus. I started to explain myself, like, this is why I should be on Planet Lotus, and he stopped me and said, you had me at running. Because he knew me from Twitter. He knew I was into running, and we had been social. You know, we were social on Twitter before social was social. And, uh, and I didn't need to show off my technical acumen in order to get listed on Planet Lotus. 
Fast forward again another few months, I went to the very first I Am Lug, where I was then to meet in person a lot of these people who I knew on Twitter. And someone asked me, why aren't you speaking here? You mean you don't think I'm a complete moron who should never speak anywhere? Okay. And uh, I kind of had an idea for a session. I kind of had an idea of a great co-speaker who was Tom Duff. And I um, approached him virtually. And uh, I said, hey, let's do a session. And lo and behold, since he knew me from Twitter, he said, okay, let's do a session. And so we submitted it, and it got accepted. And I wound up a year later, thanks to Twitter, speaking at Lotosphere, doing the very thing that a year ago I had looked at and said, I want to do that. And I did it via virtual network. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that story, which I think probably resonates with a lot of people in here. Who else on Twitter? Show of hands. <laughs> okay, look around the room. Neat. Okay, great. And uh, we do all sometimes feel like being out in the middle of an island uh, all on our own, whether that's virtually or, in my case, actually, or just based on what you do being the lone man out. So thank you for sharing that.